and that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. Try to drop one in, but it's incomplete. Will Fuller was the intended target. And now it's second down. All defenders get tired of hearing about their lack of hands and why they're playing defense instead of offense. But in this situation, it was the hands that made the play. Batting the ball away on an attempted touchdown pass. Excellent job. Way to knock it down. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Texans have cut it to within a score. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where would you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. This is taken at his four. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just take... And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. Down the numbers. There he goes. And they will score a pick six for the Texans TD. Now that was a beautiful play. A pick six. How would you punctuate something like that, partner? What do you mean with an exclamation mark? Exclamation mark, a big word. What would you do with that? Ampersand? I like it. And this one through the uprights and good. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. This will be taken in at the one. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. Let's go! Grand 38! Grand 38! After the pick six, they go right back to the air. Buying time to his left. And he floated one out there incomplete. Being a forward pass. Offense. So the flag is for the very rare illegal forward pass penalty. Not often that a quarterback forgets where the line of scrimmage is. They have an innate sense about it. On this play, the quarterback did. I got him. Let's go. One, nine, one. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Give him four on the carry there, but that only takes him back to where they started. Third and ten. And another good game here as the numbers show. We had a rare meeting with the entire offensive line this week. They were pretty ecstatic. Well, they should be ecstatic again. And we had that meeting with them because of how they played last week. I thought it was your idea. It was brilliant to say, let's, let's bring the big guys in. Well, it was true. Let's, let's talk to the guys. How did they pull that off? Because they were so productive. No, no real problems in getting to the offensive backfield. They were getting downfield, getting the second, third level, creating extra blocks. We're seeing that again this week. They are really locked in. So credit to them, but also a big credit to the offensive line coach because he's got to feel great about what he's prepared. Absolutely. And he fields it cleanly. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And here comes the Texans now. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. 
first play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. Time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this time. They'll drop the throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Holding offense. So he got his hands a little too far outside. The ref caught him through the flag. And a long way to go for the offense here on second down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Caught left side, Hopkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So the offense has it first and 10. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. They'll look to throw here on first down. He's got it complete to Braxton Miller. A gain of six there on first. Timing is everything, and they work on this time all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Miller on the catch over the middle. And he gets it down to the 32. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he... And now here's a timeout called by the Colts on the defensive side of the ball. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Defense in a good spot. Let's see how the offense responds with a second and 13 now. They come out with one back and three tight ends. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. And another timeout taken by the Colts. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Offense working with a third and 13 still left. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Well, now then, it's a big kick right there to give them the lead in the fourth. But, Charles, there is still time left for a final drive. Brandon, you know they would have liked to take the clock down just a little bit further, at least under a minute or so. But this was not over yet, especially since they just need a field goal. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. Oh, they practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. They'll look to throw. 
Now a desperation throw deep to got a man. It's caught inside the 10. A big play there for Indy. 45 yards. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. He's back to throw. And he rifles one incomplete. Just saw it right there. Now can they preserve that advantage that they just got? Now the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. Just a four-play drive that time. And it culminates in an Indianapolis touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Pat McAfee to kick. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense and make it an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster. It's that guy that's short in the end zone who comes up and ends up making the play because he goes unguarded. So there's a lot to think about if you're playing defense in this situation. We'll see if they can cover all their bases. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. Back to throw. Surveying the field. He's going to let it fly. And it's knocked away and incomplete. There's no shyness there pushing the ball downfield, but I like the coverage on the play in good position. And when you have a 50-50 ball, who's going to come down with it? I like the way they made the play, came across, and knocked it away. Come on, let's go! One, nine, One final shot. They'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, we saw a close game that kept us on the edge of our seats down to that final whistle. And right before that final whistle, defense with one last exclamation mark there getting the sack to end it. I love how you phrased it because we were waiting to see what would happen. Obviously, we thought something would happen downfield. Instead, it happens in the offensive backfield, and that's your ball game. So for the Colts, they move back over 500 at three and two now on the year. And they'll have another home date next week as the New York Giants come to town. Meanwhile, for the Texans, they drop below 500 to two and three with a loss. And they'll be at home next week for a date with the Tennessee Titans.